It's time to look at today's totally true Bible story. Are you ready? Let's go! Remember, God's people were slaves in Egypt, making bricks in the hot sun. And Pharaoh refused to let them go. So God said he was going to send plagues on Egypt to make Pharaoh change his mind. Plagues are scary business. But we know that when life is scary, God is good. The first plague was a plague of blood. All the water in the Nile River turned to blood. The fish died and started to stink. So gross. Oh, that's gross. Oh, that's gross. Oh, that's so bad. Bad. That's so Pharaoh still said no. So God sent the second plague, a plague of frogs. Frogs were everywhere in the houses, the ovens, even the beds. But Pharaoh was stubborn. So God sent the third plague, a plague of gnats. Gnats covered the Egyptians and their animals. Pharaoh still said no. So God sent a plague of flies. The flies buzzed into the houses and filled Pharaoh's palace. But no flies bothered God's people. Pharaoh said no again. So God sent a plague against the livestock. All the Egyptians' horses and cows and goats got sick and died. But the Israelites' animals were fine. Hard to believe, but Pharaoh still said no. So, God sent a plague of boils. Boils are yucky sores that itch and hurt. Oh, I need a back scratcher. Oh, I can't stop everywhere. itching. This is horrible. Oh. When Pharaoh said no again, God sent a plague of hail. Hail struck down people, animals, and plants. Egypt was in ruins, except where God's people lived. Next came a plague of locusts. Locusts ate all the plants that hadn't been destroyed by hail. Not a single leaf was left on the trees and plants in Egypt. Yep. Pharaoh said no again. So this time, God sent a plague of darkness. For three days, it was so dark that the people of Egypt couldn't move. But there was light as usual for God's people. It must have been so scary for the Egyptians. They had been through nine plagues already. And Pharaoh still wouldn't let God's people go. So, God sent the tenth and final plague, the scariest one of all. God said that in this last plague, he would kill all Egypt's firstborn sons, even Pharaoh's oldest son. God told his people to pack up and be ready to leave Egypt in a hurry. He told the families to each roast a special lamb and use the blood to mark their doorways. That way, the angel of death would know to pass over the houses of God's people. God's people huddled together in their houses. At midnight, the angel passed over the land killing all the Egyptian firstborn sons. But God's people were safe. That very night, 
Pharaoh told the Israelites to get out of Egypt. They were finally free. Yeah! Remember, when life is scary, God is good.